Unit 1. At the supermarket. Excuse me, could you please help me find the dairy section? I'm looking for some milk. Of course! The dairy section is just down this aisle. Follow me, I'll show you where it is. Thank you so much. I always get lost in these big supermarkets. It's so much easier when someone guides me. No problem at all. We understand that navigating a large store can be overwhelming. Is there anything specific you're looking for in the dairy section apart from milk? Well, I also need some yogurt and cheese. I usually buy low-fat milk and Greek yogurt. Do you carry those? Yes, we do. Right over here, you'll find a variety of milk options, including low-fat milk. And just a few steps away, we have a wide selection of Greek yogurt and different types of cheese. Is there a particular brand or flavor you prefer? I usually go for the store brand milk, but when it comes to yogurt, I prefer a well-known brand that offers different flavors. As for cheese, I like to explore different options, so I'm open to suggestions. Noted. We have our store brand milk right here. And as for yogurt, we carry several popular brands that offer a variety of flavors. Some customer favorites include Greek yogurt with honey, strawberry, and vanilla. For cheese, we have a whole range from mild cheddar to aged gouda and even some imported varieties if you're feeling adventurous. That sounds great. I'll definitely check out those options. By the way, do you have any special deals or discounts on these dairy products? Absolutely. We currently have a promotion on the store brand milk, where you can get a discount if you buy two or more cartons. And for yogurt, we have a buy one get one free offer on select brands. As for cheese, we have a buy two, get the third one at 50% off deal on certain types. Feel free to browse through the section, and if you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to ask. That's fantastic. I'll make sure to take advantage of those deals. Thank you so much for your help. Your customer service is excellent. You're very welcome. It's our pleasure to assist you. If you need anything else or have any other questions during your shopping, don't hesitate to find me or any other store employee. Enjoy your shopping and have a great day. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, too. Unit 2. Conversation between father and daughter. Hey, sweetie. I've been thinking about some home activities we could do together. What do you think? That sounds great, Dad. I'd love to help out. What kind of activities are you thinking about? Well, there are a few things we could do. We've been meaning to organize the garage for a while now. It would be great if we could sort through the boxes and declutter a bit. Would you be up for that? Absolutely. I'll grab some boxes and help you categorize everything. We can go through them one by one and decide what to keep, donate, or throw away. That's fantastic. It'll be a lot easier and more fun with your help. While we're at it, we could also clean out the attic. It's been a while since we've been up there, and I'm sure we'll find some forgotten treasures. I love the idea. It'll be like going on a treasure hunt. We can dust off old boxes, organize the items, and maybe even create a memory box with things that hold sentimental value. That's a wonderful suggestion. I can see that you have a knack for organizing and making things special. It's going to be so nice to have these areas tidied up, and we'll all benefit from a cleaner and more organized home. I'm happy to help, Dad. Plus, it's a great opportunity for us to spend quality time together. Are there any other activities you had in mind? Well, another task on my list is to tackle the backyard. With spring here, it's time to get the garden ready. We could plant some flowers and vegetables, and maybe even create a small herb garden. Would you be interested in gardening? Absolutely. I've always wanted to have a small garden of my own. We can choose some colorful flowers, plant some tasty vegetables, and I'll make sure to water them regularly and take care of them. That's wonderful, sweetie. Gardening will not only beautify our backyard, but it will also give us fresh produce and a chance to connect with nature. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too, Dad. I'm glad we're finding these activities to do together. It's nice to contribute and make our home a better place while spending quality time with you and Mom. You're absolutely right, sweetheart. Your help and enthusiasm mean a lot to us. It's great to have a daughter who is willing to pitch in and take on responsibilities. We appreciate your support. Thanks, Dad. I'm grateful to have parents who value my involvement and encourage me to be independent. Let's make these home activities a regular thing. Unit 3. Family Time. Hey, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to have a chat about something interesting today, how we can make the most of our time together as a family. That's a great idea, Sarah. With everyone's busy schedules, it's important to find ways to connect and spend quality time as a family. Absolutely. 
One idea could be to have a dedicated family breakfast once a week. We can all come together to enjoy a delicious meal and have meaningful conversations before starting our day. I love the idea of a family breakfast. We can try out new recipes, share our plans for the day, and simply enjoy each other's company. It'll be a great way to start the morning on a positive note. I agree. And while we're talking about our routines, how about we set aside some time for homework or study sessions together? We can help and support each other, making the process more enjoyable and productive. That's a wonderful suggestion, dear. Studying together will not only foster a sense of teamwork, but also provide an opportunity for us to share our knowledge and learn from each other. Additionally, we should incorporate some physical activity into our family time. How about going for a walk or bike ride together a few times a week? It's a great way to stay active, enjoy nature, and bond as a family. I love that idea. We can explore different parks or trails in our area and even plan a mini family adventure once in a while. It'll be a refreshing change of pace from our usual routine. Definitely. And speaking of physical activity, what if we try out home workouts together? We can find fun workout videos or even create our own fitness challenges. It'll be a great way to stay healthy and motivate each other. I'm loving all these ideas. Family breakfasts, study sessions, outdoor activities, and home workouts. It sounds like we have a perfect recipe for quality family time. We should plan and schedule these activities so that we can all look forward to them. I completely agree, sis. Let's create a family calendar where we can mark down these activities and ensure we make time for them. It'll help us stay organized and committed to spending time together. That's a great plan. Having a visual reminder will keep us accountable and make sure we don't miss out on these important moments. I'm so glad to see everyone enthusiastic about this. Our family is our support system, and spending time together strengthens our bond. Let's make an effort to prioritize family time and create lasting memories. Absolutely. Our time together is precious, and these activities will not only be fun but also help us grow closer as a family. I'm excited to start implementing these ideas. Thank you, everyone, for your input and support. I'm grateful to have such a wonderful family. Let's make the most of our time together and create beautiful memories that will last a lifetime. Cheers to that. Here's to more quality family time and unforgettable moments together. Unit 4. At the hospital. Excuse me, could you tell me where the emergency room is? I need to see a doctor urgently. Of course I can help you. The emergency room is located on the ground floor of the hospital. Let me guide you there. Follow me, please. Thank you so much. I hope it's not too serious, but I've been experiencing some severe pain, and I'm worried. I understand your concern. Our emergency room is well-equipped to handle various medical emergencies. Once we reach there, the medical staff will assess your condition and provide the necessary care. Is there anything specific you're experiencing, or any symptoms you want to share with me? It's a sharp pain in my lower abdomen, and it's been persistent for a few hours now. I've also been feeling nauseous and have a slight fever. I thought it would go away, but it's getting worse. I'm sorry to hear that. It's good that you've come to the emergency room. Our doctors will evaluate your symptoms and conduct the necessary tests to determine the cause of your pain. We have a skilled medical team that will take care of you. Rest assured, you're in capable hands. That's reassuring to hear. I appreciate the care and attention. Is there anything I need to prepare or any documents I should bring with me? If you have any medical records, prescriptions, or identification, it would be helpful to bring them along. However, if you don't have them at the moment, our staff will assist you in gathering the necessary information. Just focus on your well-being and we'll take care of the rest. Thank you for your guidance. I'm feeling a bit anxious, but I trust that the medical team will take care of me. How long is the average wait time in the emergency room? The wait time can vary depending on the severity of cases and the number of patients. Our medical staff follows a triage system to prioritize patients based on the urgency of their conditions. They will do their best to ensure you receive prompt medical attention, if you have any concerns or if your symptoms worsen while waiting, please don't hesitate to inform the staff. I understand. I'll try to remain patient and communicate any changes in my condition. Thank you for your assistance and understanding. You're welcome. Your well-being is our priority, and we're here to support you. Once we arrive at the emergency room, the medical team will take over and provide you with the necessary care. If you have any further questions or concerns, 
feel free to ask. Wishing you a quick recovery. Thank you once again. I appreciate your help and kind words. I'm hopeful that everything will turn out fine. Unit 5. Conversation between customer and shopkeeper. Good morning. I'm looking for some fresh vegetables for tonight's dinner. What do you recommend? Good morning. We have a great selection today. For dinner, you might want to consider some leafy greens like spinach or kale. They're rich in nutrients and can be used in various dishes. We also have fresh tomatoes, bell peppers, and carrots that would complement your meal. That sounds wonderful. I'll take a bunch of spinach and some tomatoes. Do you have any ripe avocados as well? I'd like to make a salad. Absolutely. Let me check for you. Yes, we have some perfectly ripe avocados right here. They're firm yet ready to eat. How many would you like? I'll take four, please. And do you have any fresh herbs like basil or cilantro? I like to add them to my recipes for extra flavor. Certainly. We have both basil and cilantro available. They were just delivered this morning. How much would you like? I'll take a small bunch of basil and a larger bunch of cilantro, please. Oh, and I'm also planning to make a stir-fry, so I'll need some onions, garlic, and ginger. Great choice. We have some good quality onions here, and the garlic and ginger are fresh, too. How many onions would you like? I'll take three medium-sized onions. As for the garlic and ginger, a few cloves of garlic and a small piece of ginger should be enough. Perfect. Here are three onions for you, along with the garlic and ginger. Is there anything else you need? I think that's all for today. Thanks for your help. You're welcome, Sarah. If you have any more questions or need assistance in the future, feel free to ask. Have a great day and enjoy your dinner.